Police in Polk County have arrested 33 people and shut down what investigators call a huge heroin operation. Two of those arrested got an early wake-up call from deputies. They didn't even have time to get dressed before being let off to jail this morning. Ryan Race is live in Winter Haven Forest with more on this bus. Good evening, Ryan. Good evening, Brenda. And throughout this more than year-long investigation, the sheriff says they arrested a variety of the key players here, from the leaders, the sellers, the users, even the marketers. Most of them had a criminal history. Some of them are here illegally, and a lot of them you helped. A surprise home visit this morning by narcotics detectives marked the end to what the sheriff calls the biggest heroin trafficking operation in the county's history, led by this man, Pablo Bergen, a man with a decorated criminal past and a trademark of sorts. You could tell it was his heroin because he always wrapped it in this paper, and this is how we found it. Sheriff Grady Judd says they found it all over the county, but mainly in Lakeland. They've made 33 arrests over the past 14 months. The investigation culminated this morning with the arrest of Bergen, who was actually on house arrest after pleading down to a lesser offense for drug trafficking in 2008. It gets better. He's from the Dominican Republic. He's not a citizen of the United States. And perhaps the biggest bombshell of all, the sheriff says Bergen and a handful of others in the operation were on food stamps. In addition to raking in tens of thousands of dollars in drug money, Judd says Bergen got $900 every month from the government. You, the hardworking taxpayer of this state, were paying him for this. Now he will likely pay for it. The sheriff is hoping for a sentence harsher than Bergen's ever seen before. Quite frankly, we want to see him go to prison for a very, very, very long time, and then they can deport him. Now, Sheriff Grady Judd is pushing for harsher penalties for those involved in drug trafficking. Also, as you may suspect, he says he fully supports the proposed state law that would require drug testing for those who receive food stamps. Live tonight in Winter Haven, Ryan Raich, ABC Action News.